close your eyes, be serious. Om Namah Shivaya Shambhu Shiva Mahanam Don't laugh. Closing all your seven openings of your head. Closing all the seven openings of your head with your hands. You can find a space between your eyes which becomes so inclusive. Dear friends, Shiva Shutra, 15th technique. The Lord says to Parvati, Shiva says to Parvati, Meditation, medicine is for healing your body, meditation is healing your soul. When the body is not suitable, you get disease. But when your mind and soul is not compatible with each other, then you become mentally sick. The medicine is meditation. For body, medicine. And for your soul, it is meditation. There are seven openings in your head. Close your seven openings with your hands. And what is the result? There will be a space between your eyes which will be so inclusive. So my dear friends, take your hands, just try to close your nose with the two hands, close your mouth, just keep the breath inside, don't leave it out. Okay, later we shall try. Now just feel it and now just relax. I will tell you later what to do. This sutra says daily from morning to evening or night, 24 hours. The breath comes in and breath goes out. You are not conscious of your breath. You are conscious of dear friends, sit direct man. Don't laugh. Dear friends, from morning to night, 24 hours, you are conscious of your thinking, thoughts, but you are not conscious of your breath. The breath comes and breath goes out. One is conditioned with the other. When you think, when you take a breath, thought comes. Oh. Dear friends, we have come to 15th Shiva Shutra. Medicines are given to the body when it has a problem. Meditation is, a, is given to the people when their mind and soul are not incompatible with each other. The mind disagrees with the soul. Then meditation is very necessary. Here Shiva says to Parvati, the 15th technique, it is not that Parvati doesn't know, she is the goddess, she knows, but Shiva says it through to Parvati so that people can understand and learn. The 15th Sutra says, close all the seven openings of your head, seven openings of your head, what are the seven openings? Two eyes, two ears, to nose and one mouth. Close all the seven openings of your head through your hands. Through your hands. So this is the way. Please open your eyes. Please open your eyes. Just see. This is the closing. Eyes is closed. Mouth is closed. Nose is closed. So through your ten fingers, you close your seven openings of your head. 
then what happens? You are unable to breathe. When you are not able to breathe, what happens? You find a space between the two eyes that is inclusive. Inclusive means what? That becomes so powerful. So this is the one of the very oldest techniques which is used. So here what we have to do. See, entire mind is a conditioning. You breathe, one thought comes. It is a conditioning. When you want to say about this conditioning, we can always go in for Pavlov's theory. You know Pavlov's theory, what it means? A dog, when the food is given, when the food is shown to the dog, what happens? It opens up, it, the tongue flows out, isn't it? Then what happens? Saliva comes out. The tongue comes out and the saliva flows out. So when the dog sees the food, this is what happens. Paolo, what did he do? He did one technique. When the food was given, when the dog opened its mouth and the tongue came out and the saliva was coming, he started ringing a bell at that particular time. So 15 days he did the same thing. Then after that the dog ate, 15 days he was doing. One day what did he do? At that particular time, he just rang the bell, but the food was not given. Food was not shown to the dog. The saliva started coming. So the mind is one thing which is conditioned. What condition? Only after brushing you have to take your breakfast, isn't it? After taking gravy, rasam. After rasam, curd. You don't go in for curd first, rasam second, gravy third. Right? So, this is a process. After brushing only, taking bath. After bathing, taking bath, you don't brush your teeth. So, the conditioning of mind. Our mind is so much conditioned. So, one breath, you take a breath, and one thought comes. So this is the Paolo's principle. So this condition should be broken. So this Shiva Sutra 15 says that when you stop breathing, your consciousness stops going out because your consciousness goes through eyes. You just see. Your consciousness goes through the ears. You hear. And your consciousness goes through your mouth when you eat, through the nose, when you smell. So when you stop all the seven layers opening, then suddenly what you feel, your consciousness is not possible to go out. Suddenly it gets struck inside. The consciousness when it's struck inside, when you close your eyes, what happens? The consciousness goes and remains in the center part of your, between your two eyes. Once you come to the center part of your eyes, third eye, what happens? The two eyes can see materials, but the third eye can see invisible things. Two eyes can see visible things, the third eye can see invisible things. The two eyes can feel the energy, but third eye can see the energy. The two eyes can see the matter. But the third eye can see what the energy in the matter. So the third eye, when you come to the third eye, you feel the entire universe is inside you. The star, the sun, the moon, the planet, everything is inside you. You are not the same person before this experience. Before the experience, you are so small. You think you are very little minded. But once you come to the third eye, you find the whole universe is inside you. The whole world is inside you. Whatever you see, things and everything, it seems to be so petty, very small, compared to what you have experienced. So my dear friends, here in Muslim, there are two, in Muslim is two divisions are there. Exoteric and esoteric. What do you mean by exoteric? That is what the Muslims, what they do. Esoteric is Sufism. You know Sufism, what do you mean by Sufis? Sufis, they do a lot of meditation. In Islam, there is one thing. 
man is never equal to God. But in here in India, Hinduism, you can find lot of Swamis. Sankaracharya is considered to be a God. And Pope is considered to be a representative between God and the ordinary devotees. But in Islam, the creator and creator are different. The man can never be a creator. So, once a Muslim, a Safi named Mansur, he was able to experience, he was able to go through the third eye. Once he understood the third eye, he was telling to everybody, I am the God. I can feel. In Islam, it, they will never accept man as a God. If anybody says, man is God, if he says, I am the God, then he will be killed. He will be eliminated. So Mansur was about to be killed. So when they came to him and they want to kill him, what did he say? He said, you can never kill me because I am the creator. This body is a small thing. You cannot eliminate me. So from that time onwards, he was eliminated of course, finally. In Sufism, whatever you experience, you are not supposed to say it out. So my dear friends, when you control all the seven openings, because the mind is conditioned, you leave the breath, breath you think a thought. So when all the seven openings are closed, you come to the center of your being. When you come to the center of being, what you understand? You see, the whole universe is inside you. You are the part of this existence. The world is you and you are the world. So let us not live in a small world. Let our mind be broad-minded. This is what called broad-minded. Of course, it is too broadened. We go to the entire universe is inside us. So the experience of the third eye and understanding the power, what you are, through controlling your breath and not leaving it out, and all the consciousness, all your energy goes out of the seven holes of your head. Once you control, the consciousness doesn't go out. As the consciousness doesn't go out, when you concentrate, the space between two eyes, you find all the powers getting stuck there. The consciousness remains over there. Then what happens? Through the third eye, you can watch what the two eyes cannot watch. Through the third eye, you can understand what world is, what philosophy is, what life is, how you are related with the trees and plants and animals and birds and sun, star, sky. So you feel the oneness. So this is the 15th Sutra. Slowly close your eyes. Stop your breath as long as possible. Control it. Don't leave it out. You take the breath in. Keep it inside. Don't leave it out. Now no thought comes in. Slowly you leave the breath and just concentrate on your third eye. In between the two eyes. In between your two eyes. Of course it is not the part of your body. But there is infinite source of energy you can find now. It is spaceless. Space between your eyes is boundaryless. You find the entire universe in between your eyes. Through this, under, through this technique you understand. You are not somebody who is separate. You are part of this universe. As you are, need the water, air and sun, the sun, air and water needs you. You are as important as them. 
So you are part of this universal family. You are the part of this existential law. And you are something very important. And all the existential things are related to you. With this slowly concentrate on your third eye. Keep concentrating on your third eye. Slowly open your eyes. Rub both your hands. Slowly touch your third eye. Now slowly open your eyes. நண்பர்களே சிவசூத்திரம் பதினைந்தாவது தத்துவம் என்ன சொல்கிறது என்றால் உன்னுடைய தலையிலிருந்து வரக்கூடிய ஏழு வழிகளை அடைத்துவிடு இரண்டு கண்கள் இரண்டு காதுகள் இரண்டு மூக்கு துவாரங்கள் ஒரு வாய் இந்த பகுதிகளை அடைக்கும் பொழுது உன் சிந்தனைகள் வெளியே செல்லாது உன்னுடைய ஆற்றல் வெளியே செல்லாது உன்னுடைய உணர்வுகள் அனைத்தும் இரண்டு கண்களுக்கு மத்தியிலே வந்து அடைந்து விடுகிறது இரண்டு புருவங்களுக்கு நடுவிலே வரும் பொழுது உலகத்தை அறிகிறாய் உன்னை நீ அறிகிறாய் மனது என்பது ஒரு நிர்பந்தப்படுத்தப்பட்ட ஒரு செயல் மூச்சை அடிக்கிறாய் ஒரு சிந்தனை வருகிறது மூச்சை அடக்கும் பொழுது ஆற்றல் வெளியே செல்லாத பொழுது சிந்தனைகள் அனைத்தும் நிறுத்தப்படுகிறது அனைத்தும் ஒரு சக்தியாக உன் கண்களுக்கு நடுவிலே இரு கண்களுக்கு நடுவிலே நேத்தி புருவ மையத்திலே வந்து விடுகிறது அங்கே இருக்கும் பொழுது இரண்டு கண்களில் பார்க்காத விஷயங்களை பார்க்க முடிகிறது இரண்டு கண்களால் பார்க்காத சக்தியை நீ உணர முடிகிறது அந்த தெய்வீக நிலைப்பாடான இரு கண்களுக்கு நடுவிலே வரும் பொழுது உலகம் உனக்குள் அடங்குவது போல் உணர்கிறாய் சூரிய சந்திர நட்சத்திரம் மரம் செடி மிருகங்கள் பறவைகள் கடல் வால் இனங்கள் அவை அனைத்தும் உனக்குள்ள உனக்குள் இருக்கக்கூடிய பந்தங்களை அது வெளிப்படுத்தி காண்பிக்கிறது நீ யாரோ ஒரு மூன்றாவது மனிதன் அல்ல இந்த பரந்த உலகத்தில் சூரியன் சந்திரனுக்கு எவ்வளவு முக்கியத்துவமோ அதை போன்ற முக்கியத்துவம் உன்னால் அவர்களும் பெறுகிறார்கள் இதை அறிந்து தெரிந்து கொள்ளும் பொழுது உனக்கு வாழ்க்கையிலே சந்தித்து இருக்கக்கூடிய சிறு சிறு பிரச்சனைகள் அல்லது பெரும் பெரும் பிரச்சனைகள் அதெல்லாம் ரொம்ப சிறிதாக தோன்றும் வாழ்க்கை அது மட்டுமல்ல உண்மையான வாழ்க்கை என்பது உன்னை நீ அறிந்து கொள்வது ஸோ இந்த மூன்றாவது கண் மூலமாக சென்று உன்னை நீ நன்கு அறிந்து தெரிந்து கொள் தேங்க்யூ மைடியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் I just want some of you to tell your experience. What do you feel? How do you feel? This is something which I don't know whether you have experienced or not. Going inside you and finding, <coughs> you find the secrets of life. Secrets of life is not an outside, it's inside you. So what do you experience? Sir? How do you how do you say your experience? Put on the mic. The 15th technique. <coughs> By practicing the 15th technique, I feel some I feel some eternal bliss. I feel some vacuum and uh, It feels like the breaking the barriers of the world. Good. What do you understand? You can speak in Hindi, sir. Hindi. Not Bihari, whatever your language is. 
जब मैं आसन कर रहा था तो मेरे अंदर के शरीर से मैंने वो चीज देखा जो मैं आज तक नहीं देखा था मेरे अंदर में क्या कमी है मेरे क्या अच्छाई है आज फील द यूनिवर्स इन साइड मी एंड और मैं अपने अंदर में वो शक्ति देखी जो मैं से पहले नहीं देखा मैं अपने आत्म शक्ति को मैं पहचाना और मैं ये हमेशा करूंगा ताकि इससे मेरे मन को शांति मिलती है How do you understand? I know I feel like more energetic, energetic, and too and my mind is now too much cool. Okay. Give it. If you concentrate on Tadi, so you can get some extra powers. You can see all invisible things, and uh, that's it. Hmm. I very enjoy and very feel in my mind setup and more concentration and uh, so very enjoy. In the fifteenth statement of Shiva Sutra, I can feel loneliness. I can see what the eyes can didn't see that the gap. In that gap, I feel I'm very lonely. I'm very. Uh, Uh, very si- uh, silent uh, uh, in this world i uh, i am only the pr- presenting <coughs> i'm lonely so that's why feelings yes so what do you experience uh, i am very relaxed now and uh, at the same time i feel uh, some power that's so in sura sutra 15 techniques uh, understand uh, the uh, seven layers controlled uh, control and increasing my concentration power and uh, in between of the um, both eyes uh, i imagine one, one picture at uh, at, the, at the times and that picture picture means it's like one of the god and god is uh, um, seeing seeing that uh, is beautiful i'm seeing the top to bottom i'm seeing that god and forehead and eyes and uh, everything so and it shows very powerful and uh, eye is very attractive also so the increasing the, point, the concentration power is i am um, increased while practicing this there i have I, i have experienced that there was a black hole and there was a darkness hole around but uh, there even though there was a there was a light that gives you the path and the way you tra- you are traveling in the whole universe when i closed my eyes uh, eyes uh, i saw my mother face uh, so i am now feeling relaxed and uh, i think uh, it is helpful for increase memory power uh, so i will do uh, daily these things in this chapter uh, attached to the universe that's all i got a lot of energy and my mind is very freeness when i was close my eyes first uh, i saw uh, lord shiva after that i was thinking about my parents uh, so i felt uh, uh, some feel happiness um, so that's all she was 15 to try a good mind relaxation technique i felt a uh, mind blowing and uh, mind was my mind was very relaxed that's dear friends in shiva sutra 15th technique when you stop your breath not even a single thought should come i think about my father mother nothing nothing should come i think about a hole nothing zero spaceless nothing when all the five outlets seven outlets are closed nothing should be there completely the vessel is cleaned the thought process not even one process one should come so that is the practice which you have to do 
hundred percent just like how you delete a program in a computer or in your cell phone everything stops zero so at least 10 minutes or 15 minutes as you practice when you stop all the consciousness going outside then everything is centered in between your eyes as you center in between your eyes what happens what happens you feel what you are you feel what you are you are not just a BTEC student or this nation this language you have a car or my not it stops everything stops you are universe universe is you you are the single energy you're living in that energy nothing is yours everything is yours you belong to everything and everything belongs to you you are one there is no division Okay, so with this, let us end the 15th Sutra. Thank you very much.